It's been a while since I picked up this camera and did a behind the scenes vlog. It's not really the fact that I haven't been getting jobs. It's just more the type of jobs that I have been getting. I just haven't really been able to record. Either the client told me that they don't want me recording or I just really had nowhere to put my phone to show you guys a proper angle of me in the field. But today I had a buddy of mine hit me up. He's a, uh, I think he has a Shopify store and he sells products and stuff. So he wants to make a video, a promo video of the product and then he wants some B-roll. It's an outside product. So he wanted to film the product review outside. And I'm like, you know what? It clicked on me. Maybe I can show you guys a behind the scenes on how to set up lighting and stuff outside. Now, typically whenever I do outside interviews or anything along that nature, I try to bring less gear as possible because I want to utilize the sun as my key light. But for this situation, I did bring an Aperture 300D just in case, and I brought some diffusion. Now, I don't have a grip fan, so I don't use six by six grids or none of that. I'm a solo operator, and I just simply just don't want to carry all that stuff. So I try to utilize what I got, and the main thing is bouncing diffusion everywhere. So, so when I get to the location, I'm gonna pick the camera back up and scope out the area, see what I like, what I don't like, set up the frame and stuff, and I'm gonna show you guys all that and potentially show you guys how I would set up an outside interview. Nothing crazy, it's not a corporate job, it's not an inside job, so we'll see how it goes. The sun is out, it's early in the morning. I wanted to do it early in the morning before the sun gets way too harsh, so we'll see how this goes. I'll pick it up when I get there. Now I'm here at the third location. Um, the first location, there was a lot of people there. Second location, there's a lot of people there. So now I'm at this location because I figured I never been here before. I just always drove past it. And I know that he said he wanted more of an outdoor theme for like, I guess, hiking and trails and stuff like that. And I remember this location. I've been here once and I remember that view right there. And I think it'll be really, really cool to set up the, uh, the mini interview with that view in the background. But the only thing is, I just don't know exactly where to put it. I was gonna have it like all over there, but then there's a guy over there with his dogs and like there's mad people coming. And I don't really wanna do it right here. Cause if I do it right here, you can see all these cars here. People are just gonna keep coming. And I don't wanna have people just walking in and out the frame, even though it's gonna be really, really quick. So right now the hardest part is figuring out where I'm going to set this up. But if I can figure out a way to get that backdrop in I think it looks very very pleasing so right now I guess I'm just gonna hopefully wait and see these people with the dogs over here leave so I can just set up in this area but or maybe I can just go over here I'm thinking and just shoot from that way because I like those palm trees a lot I like that horizon I like how the sun is over there it looks very very pleasing but I'm just not sure this is the storm it's like it's Saturday it's nine o'clock in the morning everyone wants to come out and go for a walk I guess but this is why I try to stay away from shooting outdoors, but whatever. But I'm gonna try to utilize this. So honestly, and all in all, I might just go right here and just film that way. But we'll see how the frame looks. Okay, so in conclusion, the people finally left. This is the area that I wanted to be at because no one's really around here. So what I might do is I'm thinking of setting up right here and I'm just gonna get that in the background. So I brought my 24 to 70. So I'm probably gonna shoot it at 50 and utilize those palm trees as the background and eliminate everything over there so we're gonna see how it looks this is the honestly the best framing and that i think is pleasing i don't really like anything over there because people come from that way and if i'm over there i'm not really gonna know when they're gonna come i don't want nobody in the background of this shot i want it to be just nice and clear it ain't gonna be too long so i'm gonna set up right here i'm probably going to pick up from there as i'm setting up one thing i do want to mention is i need a new tripod i don't need a new tripod but i want a new tripod this is a small rig heavy duty tripod and before i had this tripod i had the other carbon fiber one that just had where you pull it out right here and it goes up but this one has two of them i had the other one but i gave it to a friend and he ended up losing it he paid me for it but i was in a rush and i need another tripod asap so i quickly just bought this one at my local store and again, the thing I hate is having to unlock the bottom legs just to pull it up. So if you guys know any other tripod that only has one lever to pull it up, let me know in the comment section below. I'm thinking of getting the Sackler one, but Jesus, that one's like $1,800 just for the legs alone. But honestly, I think it's gonna be a good investment, so I'm considering it. But if you know any other tripod, let me know. The small rig one, it's okay, it gets the job done. My biggest issue is just these legs, like it's really a pain in the neck. All right, so right now I'm setting up my framing and this is how it's looking. Two things, 
One, I'm trying to expose for the sky because it's kind of bright out here. The sun comes and goes. But the only thing is, if I expose for the sky, you can see that I'm pretty good when I put my false colors on. It's a little bit yellow. It's a little bit high up there, but I believe that I can still save it in post-production. But now my issue is all of this is completely gone in the shadows. It's completely lost. And I only brought one light, which is the Aperture 300D. But even if I still use that to get my subject well lit, all of that is gonna be gone. I didn't bring enough lights for that. So there's no way I'm gonna be able to light that properly. So I can either keep it like this or I can bring it down to a 2.8. And if I bring it down to a 2.8, my sky is blown out. As you can tell, if I put false colors on, the sky is gone. It's completely gone. So. I'm not sure yet what I want to do. I'm going to get in the frame and see how it looks. And then I'll make my judgment off of that. But, and I have my ND at 108. Even if I bring it down and then turn it up to like a F5, my sky is still blown out and that's going to be very distracting. So I don't know. I'm going to figure it out and let you guys know what I come up with. So right here, I'm basically just making sure that I'm in frame. I'm using an app on my phone and it's not the greatest app. It's very laggy, has a lot of latency to it. And as you can tell, the colors are just completely bad. I strictly only use it for framing. I think the app is called Content Browse Monitor and it pairs with my FX6, so it gets the job done with that part, but I don't rely on it to make sure that the colors look good or anything, just the frame. All right, so this is what I came up with so far. I have the 300D right here and the 300D is not at all powerful enough for the outside, which I honestly already figured that, but it was better than my 60D. So this is how the framing is looking right now. Um, like I said, the biggest issue that I had was my sky was blown out. As you can tell, let me get off frame. My sky was blown out. And if I put the ND all the way to one over 128, full ND at a F4, you can tell this aperture light right here is doing absolutely nothing. And I'm on 100%. This is the brightest it can go. And the reason why I have diffusion on it, because if I don't have the diffusion on it, it just looks way too sourcey. Like you can definitely tell there's a light being blasted. It doesn't look like the natural sunlight. So I think I'm gonna have to make a trade off. I'm either gonna have to take it off and blast it. And it's gonna look sourcey, or I'm just gonna have to have my highlights just a little bit blown out. Because if I, again, if I put it down to, I think one over 45 or even one over 38, the framing is going to look, I'm going to put it on the screen how the framing is going to look so you guys can see a better example of it. But I'm just going to figure out what I'm going to do. I'm going to see, I'm going to play around with this. I didn't think it would take me this long to just to do this for the interview, but luckily my client is on their way. So I have a little bit more time. So I end up actually taking all of the diffusion off. And I think in my opinion, it looks more natural. It looks like the sun is just literally blasting on my face when I have the sun. So I think I might go with this look. I know you probably can't see, I'm gonna throw it on the screen as I'm doing this, but I feel like this looks a little bit more natural. My only thing is the shadows, if I get my arm out of frame. Yeah, I think this looks better. So I'm gonna take off the diffusion because it looks more natural. It looks like the sun is just really beaming on me outside. I don't think it looks too saucy. I think with the diffusion, it looks a little, little, little funky. So, but let me know what you guys think. If this is a good look, if you guys are going with this, I think, I think this looks pretty natural to me. So. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna roll it, I'm gonna see how it looks. I'll show you guys on the screen, but I think I'm gonna go with this looks. I think it actually looks pretty pleasing. My iPhone just died. I wanna show you how it looks with the light on. This is how the image looks with the light on. And this is how it looks with the light off. So you can tell there is a difference. And now I have it at what? 88 percent sun keeps changing so you really have to just pick and choose on what it is you're going to go with i think for the most part this being at 88 percent it looks looks pretty okay i mean it does look a little sourcey but i mean i guess you can get away with a natural look like it's going to be for instagram reel so all this is going to be cut out none of this is going to be seen you're just going to see me so i think for the most part this is pretty good over here vlogging with an fx6 because my phone ran out of storage one thing i did want to say though this battery was at a hundred percent when i had it as soon as i put it on the aperture and I blasted it at 100%, it is now at 75%. That is horrible. And then this one as well was at 100%. Put on the Aperture 300D, it's now at 57%. When I had it full blast at 100% on the Aperture. And yeah, this is a pretty nice vlog setup, right? You got the FX6. Wow, it's pretty crazy, but I'm just unpacking everything. Again, I ran out of storage, so this is gonna make it into the vlog. But all in all, it was a pretty good shoot. I end up did actually bro you should see me right now trying to vlog with the fx6 this is crazy um 
<laughs> I end up did using the diffusion. I don't even know if I'm in frame or not. I don't even know if my colors look good. I'm just hoping. Anyways, I did end up using the diffusion and it actually did help out just a little bit. I used the shadow side of it because I thought it was just a little bit too sourcey. I just thought it looked a little bit too fake. So it ended up looking a lot better. Packing everything up now. This took a lot longer than I thought it would be, but, but note to self with 300D, I already kind of knew that it wasn't going to be powerful enough. I don't even think a 600D probably won't still be powerful enough. I might need a 1200D, but I don't got 1200D money right now for that. So I'm probably just going to get a 600D whenever I get shoots like this. I don't really get a whole lot of shoots like this, but even if I do corporate work and I'm backlighting a window, the window can get very, very harsh with the sun. So I don't know. This FX6 rig is super heavy. I'm about to break my arms, but...